All right, we got a new next-gen file explorer engineered entirely from scratch for light speed performance. So this is a new file explorer application for Windows that is getting a lot of hype right now. And um, I'm gonna just go through it real quickly. It's in it's in beta, totally for free, faster than your thoughts. Like, yeah, so the selling point is how incredibly fast this is. And I can confirm um, it really is personalized for you, interactive at its core, okay. So one thing worth mentioning is there is a pricing tab here, buy once, own forever, so it's not a subscription model, but seemingly once this exits beta, um, $40, $50 for your license, a lifetime, um, and let's get into it so we can see if it's actually worth that. So I have it installed already. Um, it was a very quick install, and right off the bat, you see that I'm using utilizing split screen, which is something that um, is very important to me. I love that I can do that. So just by example, um, one of the first things that I love about it is it utilizes a mouse middle click. And so let's just go on Adobe. And now we have some options here that we usually don't see um, from like a Windows File Explorer. And uh, we can split right and get a new tab. And then we can click on a file, hit spacebar, and now we are inspecting it. And um, as you're noticing me going about the, this application, um, it is incredibly fast. We're just opening some new tabs and, and it's going. This thing is flying. It might look a little bit different here. Let's go to the settings, options. This is kind of how it looked. I think I did the spacing as well. It looked super compact when I got it. Um, so whatever, cool. I, I will revert it back to this. Honestly, this is probably how I would have it look. Um, I'm a fan of as much information as I can as I can get. But for the sake of the video, I don't want you squinting. Let's let's make it bigger. Okay, cool. So the split screen, let's go back to that. Um, documents, let's go split right. And let's do it again. Let's do split bottom. And so you can keep split screening these files all within the same window. And I love that. And you can even click, hold, drag. And this is like, you have easy and it's just so fast. Um, how many different ways you want to split your files. It's extremely customizable. I do a lot of video editing. And so to be able to have my assets here, like audio, screenshots, video, throw this on the side. I love it because otherwise I'm utilizing like Windows 11, like the split screen features here that you'll see um, and like how to snap. This is fancy zones, you can Google that. So I don't really have to like worry about that so much. If I can have that in as many applications, the split screen feature, I love that. Um, Zen has that, the browser, which I've done a video on, um, it's, extremely important to me i'm trying to like new tab okay same thing like i love having a split screen so that is file pilot um we have a couple other things like let's see documents i can middle click it again and it's nice that we have hidden file system files like these settings are just right there a click away um and then you can even open console and take you right there. Um, although I guess that's not, I don't think it happened. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay. So it opens where you're currently at. Um, I guess that makes sense. And I did the space bar preview. Um, yeah, so that's it. That is, in, it's insanely fast. Check it out, it's free. Um, there's really nothing that you need to configure. There's nothing to lose it's not a big investment to get it downloaded and check it out so if you want to link in the description as always um <clears throat> i'll leave you with something else there is another um it's just called files so uh, get rid of that files i don't believe it's not this an alternative so i just want to offer you um, it's not this files app it's i think this is it okay so 
just another alternative one to look into. This is files, um, not as fast. It goes, it leans more into an aesthetic. It has an acrylic sort of look to it, which you know I'm a fan of that I'm using here with Zen. Um, and maybe I'll do a video on that, but I mean, between you and me, the functionality of um, file pilot, it is there for me. I'm, I'm a huge fan. So maybe I didn't need to include that, but there's just, there's options. And maybe you didn't know that there were options alternatively to the Windows um, file system. So there you go.